impact on the real estate space or not. Uh, Purvankara, uh, uh, you know, they recently, uh, about an hour ago, reported their fourth quarter business update where the company has actually uh, achieved its highest ever annual and quarterly sales in any financial year since inception. So it's been a record-breaking quarter and a year for the company itself. Abhishek Kapoor, who's the CEO of the company, joins in now. Abhishek, you said that, you know, back in the day when the RBI was consistently increasing rates, uh, there wasn't much of an impact on demand. But do you think there could be a positive spillover now that there has been a bit of a pause? All those guys who were holding back, perhaps, will now go ahead and buy. And in your portfolio, what are uh, the products which are doing well? Is it your affordable housing, Provident, or uh, the luxury one, Purvankara? What are your expectations? Thanks, Mangam, for having me on the show. Um, so, from uh, the point of view of the market, what I what we see on the ground is really, as I said earlier also in the past, there is no impact of the rate hikes. In fact, this pause is only a positive, um, uh, you know, for the sentiment for the home buyers because now people can comfortably take the decision, and uh, you know there is uh, there is an expectation, in fact, that this will continue to hold, which we are also hopeful, and it's I think it's a very very positive development. And as a business, if you look at uh, the business that we are doing today or the numbers that we have performed on last year, as you rightly said, highest ever for uh, volume, 4 million square foot, value, 3,100 crores, um, and you know collections, most importantly, which is 57% higher, 2,250 odd crores. Um, all of this has come together because the, uh, the brand and the market both are supporting. Of course, the brand is really, we have made a lot of structural changes, but coming back to the point, the demand has been coming, cutting across all businesses, which means Purvankara, Provident, and Purva Land, all three businesses have done very, very well. And what we are seeing is that really the, the demand is not getting impact in any of the segments. In fact, it's more a factor of launches that decides which business is able to do better than the other. So that's the only, uh, you know, limitation, supply side, uh, not really the demand side. Uh, but, you know, the, we had a very detailed conversation with a lot of real estate experts a couple of days ago, and they made this point that all markets are doing well, but Bangalore as a market is slowing down a bit because of the, uh, you know, the layoffs that are happening there, the slow growth in the IT sector, perhaps people preferring to rent rather than buy homes in Bangalore. Uh, you have a large presence there. So are you seeing some slowdown in that part of the market? And if yes... Um, what do you think the impact could be? Could it be in, you know, in the next few quarters? If yes, what could the growth slowdown look like? Look, uh, I have absolutely a contrary view. We have got the largest presence in Bangalore. Uh, today on the ground, if you look at our business, uh, we have performed very, very well in both sustenance and new launches. I think what's working for Bangalore are two things. Why people are buying. One is the rentals have gone up significantly. And that's happened because people have come back to work. And the other trend that we are clearly seeing is that companies have taken an in-principle decision that everybody has to come to work in a hybrid model at least three days a week. In fact, uh, we are aware that there are a whole lot of companies who have made announcements and given uh, a time of three to four months or five months somewhere where people have to plan and they're still not within the city because they are they were they had all gone to hometowns or other locations and they were operating from home because it was a work from home environment but that's changed so a lot more people are coming into bangalore and we expect this trend to continue in fact in next four to six months if you look at last year's commercial demand again the numbers haven't really dropped so you know we don't see any real reason for seeing any slowdown and that is in fact the uh, the, the fact of the numbers says it all because we have really really outperformed on our own numbers uh, year on year basis and a largest inventory has been sold in bangalore so we don't see any impact and we don't cast any impact as far as the Bangalore market is concerned. In fact, if you see the realization has gone up, I mean, 14%, uh, right? Same quarter last year versus this quarter. So there is a shortage of supply in Bangalore. I mean, if you look at the inventory overhang, you are looking at less than 12 months. Where is that uh, coming from? The fact that it is less than 12 months, it's one of the lowest in the country. But, um, you know, Abhishek, in that context, though you are so bullish about uh, you know the bangaluru market not seeing any kind of slowdown and fi23 has been a great year for you all what do you think would probably be the biggest headwind going into fi24 according to the company something which you would be looking out for very closely and are you ab are you internally estimating that you can better this 29% growth in fi24 are you confident of that 
Um, so let me answer it in two parts. I think risk mitigation, risk, risk assessment is part of our job, and we continue to do that on a very, very uh, regular basis. One of the biggest risks and the concerns that we had was the fact that the interest rates have kept rising. So there is a mitigation plan that we have in place uh, as far as the business is concerned, uh, should the interest rate continue to go up. The second part is as a business, we are looking at launching 14 million square foot in next financial year, which is starting April to the next uh, uh, March, right? We already launched 6 million square foot last year. Now that 6 million plus the 14 million that 6 million goes into sustenance this year, so it will continue to add value to us. And the new launches will add further value in terms of sales and volumes and market share. So we are quite confident that we'll continue to grow. Uh, but having said that, uh, as a risk mitigation, we do have a plan. One of the biggest concern was slowdown in the global environment and the global headwinds. But we believe that India will, uh, will outperform the global markets. So far, we don't see any impact. And should there be any impact of interest rates or, mm. uh, you know, slow down, then we do have a mitigation plan, which is pretty much in place. And we believe that we'll be able to uh, mitigate those risks as we go forward. So let's put numbers and timelines to your aspirations. I mean, uh, the last time we spoke, uh, the value of your unsold inventory was close to around 5,600 crores. So point number one is uh, by when does all of that, uh, you know, get liquidated or rather you make money on that. Secondly, what are your volume and value targets for FY24? Look, we don't give forward-looking statements, but what I can share with you um, is that the total value uh, that will get top line potentially, which will be on the floor by the end of next financial year, including the 6 million and the 14 million, which is about 20 million square foot, which will be on the floor, uh, will be almost 15,000 crores over and above the 5,600 crores that you spoke about. So we will be in the market with almost 25,000 crores of uh, inventory. So we believe that it's a matter for us to focus. We have made a lot of structural fundamental changes in the company uh, in last uh, three and a half, four years, five years time frame, And I think we are in a great spot uh, in terms of how we see our business unfolding in next one year and two years and so on. All right. Okay, Abhishek, we'll leave it at that. Thanks a lot for joining in and uh, giving us an update.